Shabbat Shalom. This is a Torah portion that is near and dear to my heart. It is Parshat Terumah because it is actually the second time I read from Torah. I was in rabbinical school, believe it or not. And I remember being in Israel with Jill, and there we were, and each of us had an opportunity to read from the Torah for Shabbat morning services while we were there. And this was the section I read. And here it is, tell the Israelite people to bring me gifts, and you shall accept the gifts from every person whose heart so moves them. These are true moat gifts of the heart. These are the gifts you should accept from them, gold and silver and copper, purple, blue and crimson yarn, fine linen and goat's hair, canned ram skins, dolphin skins and acacia wood, oil for lighting, spices for anointing oil and for aromatic incense, lapis lazuli and other stones for setting, for the ephod and for the breastplate. Let them make me a sanctuary, a mishkan, so that I may dwell among them, exactly as I show you. The pattern of this tabernacle and the pattern of all of its furnishings, so shall you make it. It's incredible instructions there is Moses up on Mount Sinai getting these instructions to give to the people of Israel, including this, to make this mishkan, to make this tabernacle, this tent of meeting, this place of gathering that would go with the people as they went on their journey. It is a perfect Torah portion to read on this Shabbat. And we had discussions earlier this week, and they were trying to figure out how to make this announcement that I'm about to make. And they said, this is perfect for it because, that's right, on this Shabbat temple, Beth Shalom is in going on a building campaign. I hope I have you a little concerned thinking about fundraisers and money, and it's not that kind of building campaign. So take a deep breath. As Melinda's up there ch uh, chuckling because she knows she might be leading if it, it was the fundraising effort. It's not that kind of building campaign. It's something very different and yet the same. Like our ancestors in Truma, they are asked to bring the gifts of their heart, all of these different items, all of these different colors and shapes and textures to come forward to build a place for God's presence. And we, starting on Monday, are going to ask you not to bring physical gifts, but to bring the vision of your heart, to bring the words of your mouth, to bring responses to us, to help us make this an amazing Temple Beth Shalom, an amazing place, house of wholeness, harmony, and peace. Uh, just in the last couple of weeks, we have partnered with the Union for Reform Judaism to do a program, a process called benchmarking that will look at the staff, that will look at the board, that will look at our membership and ask, what are we doing as a community? What do we do well? What are we not doing as well? What can we do better? And how do we collaborate? How do we cooperate? How do we communicate with each other to create this amazing fabric of community, this caring community, this place of justice and righteousness, this dream of the best Beth Shalom that we can make? You probably, I hope, saw an email that came out this morning telling you that you're about to receive a survey from the Union for Reform Judaism. That is going to be going out starting on Monday. If you don't see it by the middle of the week, reach out to us. We can send you a link. We can make sure you're going to get a few reminders. It is very, very important that everybody here that comes to our services, it is important that you talk to your other friends that are in our congregation, just like the people of Israel. And Parshat Terumah brought more than they could use to build the tabernacle. We need each and every person, every facet and segment of our congregation to respond to the survey. The more we have, the more gifts of words and insight and perspective that you offer to us, the better job we can do to take all of those threads and weave them into something even better for Temple Beth Shalom. So that is my first request on this Shabbat of Terumah, as God called out to our ancestors, bring these gifts. We are asking you, our staff and our volunteer leaders and the board of trustees are asking you, 
when you see that survey, take the 10 or 15 or 20 minutes to fill it out. Re replying back, it's all digital, it's all by on the computer, so that because the more responses we have, and, and, and I believe even if we have to get, a, get you a paper copy that we then load in, we can do it. Where there is a will, there is a way. If you want to participate, we will make sure that you're able to bring this kind of terumah to our congregation. 